morning, everybody. Good morning. Hope everyone's having an awesome day so far. Today, I just want to go over with you some of my favorite trail running and running gear that I've kind of added throughout the years and I thought I would share with you today. So it is that time of year again where we're translating from all the winter sports such as skiing and snowboarding to the summer months now here in Colorado and the rest of the West for running and trail running season. And I thought I would just go over a couple things today that pretty much make my top list as far as my favorite running gear goes. Now these are a couple of things that I've added throughout the years. So whether I'm on like a five mile training run or maybe a longer run up in the mountains on trails, I'm gonna be going through a couple different categories on the list, but I want you all to know that this is basically nothing that is brand new. I mean, I love brand new shoes, clothing, whatever you name it, but I feel like a lot of us get too tied up in the fact that we need to buy new gear every single year and season. Whereas I personally like to buy last season's shoes or like the last year's model of something, because I feel like when something comes out and it has a lot of reviews on it, or it is a good quality shoe or product, I like to go that route versus going towards a brand new shoe or maybe a different piece of clothing that no one's really tested out and you don't really know what to expect. So for a lot of these things today, just so you know, they're not new. They're not new at all. So with that being said, let's get into the list. The first piece of gear that I'm actually gonna be going over is my shoe rotation. And I know that's kind of like an easy cop out because yes, shoes should be on every single running list out there, but I feel like we can talk about more things than just shoes. So today I'm just gonna be showing you my three different pairs of shoes that I use on all different types of runs. So first up is actually my Solomon Sense Ride 4 trail running shoes. These are the shoes that I've basically taken on any long hike, any long trail run, any trail run for that matter. In the last year and a half, I've had these shoes for about 400 miles and they have been honestly my favorite trail running shoe to date. I raced the Leadville Trail Marathon in these last year and they felt awesome, they felt quick. I also took these to France last year with my wife where we hiked the Tour de Mont Blanc over the course of six days. There's a lot of trail running shoes that I've tried throughout the last couple of years that didn't fit the bill on one of the things I was going for, whether it be like it was too slick on wet rock, or maybe the toe box was too narrow. There was something about all the trail running shoes that I was trying in the last couple years that just didn't fit the bill. And honestly, the Sense Ride 4s are the perfect shoe. The new Sense Ride 5 actually are online right now, and you can purchase them for, I believe, $140 on most websites. But the Sense Ride 4s, you can actually find on Amazon for around $85 to $90. So if you want a really good trail running shoe, this is it. Also real quick, if you're enjoying this video, please feel free to hit that like button for me. And if you like this video and you wanna see more like it, please consider subscribing. Now the next shoe I have in my running rotation is one that I'm gonna be using for longer road runs or even days that I'm actually gonna be working at the office. On my feet all day, moving around, and that is the Saucony Triumph 19. The Triumph 19 is again gonna be a more expensive shoe from Saucony, but I found this 19 last year's model on Amazon for I believe $67. And in my opinion, that is such a steal. This is basically gonna be Saucony's rendition of their long road running shoe for recovery runs, maybe long distance runs with a lower cadence or pace. It's a very breathable shoe. So I feel like when the summer months come out here in Colorado and it's just pounding heat like crazy, I think you're gonna be able to use this shoe pretty much all day and still have great breathability and not be too hot in your feet. The first time I put on this shoe, I felt like the toe box was perfect. There was just enough wiggle room inside. And then the lockdown over the top laces and the heel just make it like butter. So yeah, the Triumph 19, pretty good. Okay, and then my third shoe in my running rotation. This is gonna be something that I'm pretty much gonna be using for any occasion. Like I've loved this shoe ever since the moment I put it on and I feel like I can actually go from running five mile tempo runs to long 20 mile marathon training runs to even doing weight training. And once again from Saucony, we have the Saucony Ride 14. Right now, they're actually gonna be coming out with the Saucony Ride 16, which I believe is gonna be retailing for about 120 to $140. But just like everything else I showed you in this list, this shoe is gonna be much, much cheaper and much more affordable for your wallet. You can pick up this rendition of the shoe on Amazon for about $85 which is gonna save you a ton of money, in my opinion, and give you a lot of bang for your buck. This shoe has basically been my workhorse for the last year and a half. I bought this shoe replacing my Hoka Rincons that I absolutely loved, and I thought the Rincon was gonna be something that would be a year after year, buy after buy shoe for me because of how much I love that shoe. But I felt like it kind of bogged down through it a little bit of time. The toe box wasn't as wide as I really wanted to be. It was almost there. It was almost perfect. But then I found the Ride 14 and the moment I put this shoe on, it was 
honestly my favorite road running shoe of all time. Just like it's Breaker Brother, the Triumph, the lockdown in the shoe over the laces is so nice. And actually the heel counter that this shoe has is much better than the Triumph, which is saying something too, because as much as I love the Triumph's lockdown in the heel, the Ride 14 does even better. One of my favorite things about this shoe, besides being an absolute workhorse within any distance of run, is that it is a great all around shoe for weight training itself. I know as runners, we like to talk about shoes that are able to run in and trail run and all that stuff. But I think cross training, as far as a runner goes, is something we don't talk about enough. And this shoe, as far as going out for five, 10, 15, 20 mile training runs every single day, it also can be your best friend as far as weight training and dynamic workouts go. It's just a great all around workhorse from Saucony the Ride 14. All right, finally, we got the shoes out of the way. Let's talk about the rest of the gear. The next piece of gear on this list is honestly probably my favorite because once I found this item, I bought two of them. And with that being said, my next favorite piece of gear for running or trail running is shorts. These shorts are called the Nike Men's Dry Fit Flex Stride trail running shorts. And they actually retail on Nike's website for about $52 online. Whether you're going on a long road run or a run in the mountains where you need to pack a few gels or maybe a few things in your pockets, these are the best trail running shorts I've ever owned. I wear a size medium in these shorts and once you put them on, they're not too baggy, they're not too tight, they're honestly just right. You're gonna have two larger pockets in the front with one large pocket additionally in the back. And then I actually love all the loops that are connected onto this pair of shorts. It seems like whenever I go out after a trail run, maybe to my favorite brewery or coffee shop, I wanna be able to put my keys latched to my shorts somehow so that they're not taking up too much pocket space. The length of these shorts being five inches is absolutely perfect for me. I love the Euro fit, the slit in the side of the shorts. It just makes every stride and every day out in the mountains more comfortable. So yes, I'm sorry everybody out there, but these are in my opinion, the best running shorts money can buy, hands down. My next piece of gear is gonna be something that a lot of people I believe already know about and maybe have already purchased on their own. This is a really popular item that people take out into the trails for long hours at a time, and that's gonna be my trail running vest. This is a size medium in the Solomon Abbey Skin 12. It comes with two flask bottles in the front, has a large zipper pocket in the back, and just the amount of gear that I've found that you can actually hold in this back large pocket is just unreal. It just keeps stretching to the point where I'm not sure how much stuff is gonna fit in there before the zipper breaks. It just keeps expanding more and more. But then when you take everything out of the back pocket, there's a ton of room and it clamps down easily so that when you run, nothing kind of like bounces on your back. Online, this trail running vest retails for $160, but right now on Solomon's website, you can get it for $120, which is a huge steal, especially for how much you're gonna be using this on a daily rotation. Plenty of storage all around. You can pretty much pack anything that you need for a long day out in the trails. And honestly, even if I'm going for like a five or six mile trail run, I actually still like to bring this vest with me just to be able to have my phone with me at all times. I know running out here in Colorado, it's a big scare to people, whether they see a snake or two on the trails. And honestly, I just don't wanna be that person that was unable to call my wife or emergency services because I just didn't feel like bringing my phone with me without my vest on me. So anytime I go on a run, I always bring my phone with me and always bring this vest on any trail run I go on. All right, and then for my last piece of gear, I just wanted to go over pretty much one of my favorite shirts or singlets to wear while out running on the trails. And I know everyone out there basically has their own favorite rendition of their favorite workout shirt or outfit in general. So this is mine. My absolute favorite shirt when I go work out, whether it's running, trail running, lifting, or doing any kind of activity for that matter, is the Men's Corsa Premier Run Singlet. This is actually a shirt that's designed by Roadrunner Sports, and you can actually buy it in their stores or online for I believe roughly $45. Roadrunner Sport is absolutely not paying me for this review at all, and trust me, even if they knew, they wouldn't really care because they'd be like, wow, dude, you have a really small channel. We don't care. Beyond being just a very comfortable shirt all around, I absolutely love wearing this shirt out every single day, especially in those hot months in Colorado. It wicks away sweat like crazy, this is another one of those shirts that I've actually bought two of because of how much I liked it. I don't know if you guys follow a trend, but I feel like when I really love something, I just buy two of it off the bat. I don't know. This singlet honestly just checks off every box on my list, whether it's being light enough for race days, 
whether it's being comfortable enough for long hours out in the mountains to even being able to do home workouts, lifting at home. All right, you guys, well, that's gonna wrap up the list today for my favorite running and trail running gear of the year. Regardless of all the gear that I have listed in this video, I honestly just wanted to make this video for all of you out there just to kind of give you a little boost of encouragement for this summer, whether any of you have any trail running or running goals that you want to achieve, please listen down below. I would love to hear if there was a favorite race or maybe even just like a distance in mind that you're trying to crack for the summer. I just wanna thank you guys so much again for watching. Hope you all enjoyed this video as much as I did making it for you. We'll see you in a boot. We'll see you guys in the next one.